Jordan's doing a great job of uh, controlling Jordan for the most part. He really wasn't doing a lot to try to escape the situation. Yep. He was neutralizing it, but not escaping it. Yep. You're absolutely right. And that's, uh, you know, that's why the yellow card was given, because as we mentioned, he didn't work to improve his position, so uh, now they're back on their feet. This is, oh, a nice spinning back fist. Silva ducks and now finds himself in the close guard of Jonan. So now let's see how those long limbs of Silva come into play. Nice up kick delivered by Jonan. Yeah, he's doing a real good job. Very impressive. And his stock continues to rise here. In Pride Fighting Championships, he hung in tough against Almeida before losing the decision and then really shocked a lot of people in the MMA world with his dominating victory over Carlos Newton. And now he's hanging in there with Anderson Silva here at Shockwave. Inside, low kick delivered by Chonan. Last minute of the opening round, high kick delivered by Silva. Yep, but perfectly blocked there by Chonan. There's that, again, that overhand right. He's doing a good job with that hand. With bad intentions. And now Silva begins to feel that, okay, I'm in a war here. Let's pick things up. You can see Noguera and Bustamante watching intently as well. We have the, the best fighters in the world taking in the action. Of course, Noguera will be in the main event tonight. Or it was his brother, of course, his twin brother. <laughs> well, there you go. And uh, rightfully so, perhaps. And we can tell you that indeed, Rodrigo is backstage warming up. My bad, as they say, boss. Hey, what can you do, man? From this side here, you cannot see the ears. That's the only way I can tell them apart. And there is the end of what has been a terrific opening round of action between Rio Chonan and our friend Anderson Silva. Silva doing some bobbing and weaving. Jodan as well. Bouncing up and down on the balls of his feet as they again go through that feeling out process here early in round number two. Unbelievable if you think about it. This is the first fight that goes into the second round. Whoa, nice kick there. Nice left hook. Left by the right. Wow. Some training There's here. There's a jumping left by Silva. And we really haven't seen much of the Muay Thai skills that Silva's known for. There's a waist lock. Oh, and there's a suplex yeah, but by see, Silva. It was nicely blocked by Chonan, so he couldn't throw him all over. That's right. Didn't get the full effect. And that high kick came, but, you know, Chonan is... He has his eyes on his opponent and he blocks everything that he sees coming real good And it's interesting that really Silva no misses oh. with the uppercut does Jonan It's interesting that Silva hasn't really been able to exploit that reach advantage to the full degree as he delivers another nice inside low kick yeah, That was a hard Jonan, one Jonan and Do you think that maybe Silva is beginning to respect Chonan more than he did before the fight started. I'm talking about the stand-up skills, boss. Yeah, he has to. I mean, there's the first high clinch, and there's the first knee from the Muay Thai technician. This is a good fight. Very good fight. Hey, he changes uh, into the normal stance, Anderson Silva. He went from southpaw to a normal stance. See? Mm-hmm. Jonan has that left hand down, and again, with the reach advantage as it is, maybe he's starting to feel common. No, he's tagged with that right. Whoa, and another one. You see what Jonan does? He circles to the left. He circles away from his opponent. It's so important that you don't go straight backwards. Bring up a very salient point, although oh. tagged with that right hand. That was a hard Jonan one. Jonan can take a punch. <laughs> yes, he can. Another, and that seems to be his strategy there, is to go after the right leg of Silva. Now they exchange blows. The tie clinch again by Silva. And he's going to set him up for a knee up the middle, perhaps. Bot no. Instead, it's Jonan who oh. strikes first with the knee. And strikes and takes him down with a single leg now. 
Now we're going to see all over the same thing that we saw in round number one. I think, I believe that Rio Chonan is going to do a real good job here. One's on the ground. And there we go again. He sets it up for a reverse figure four, you see. He's pushing with his, yep, there we go. That's a reverse And now he's looking up. to go for the Kimura, but he has his legs. And really, boss, I think so far Chonan has taken away Silva's strength standing up and... This is where Chonan wants to be, so it's going to be interesting to see what transpires the rest of the way. Yeah, but you know what? Anderson Silva received the yellow card in round number one, so he knows now that he has to work from this position. Otherwise, he's going to get another one, and that's 10% from your pay. And, of course, and he is very good from this position, but it's just interesting to note how successful Chonan has been thus far. Although he really hasn't gone for any submission attempts, he's been able to strike and create distance, but again, he has to go for the finish as well. Yep. Now the open guard. You can hear them screaming out for the omoplata in Silva's corner. Which again is the shoulder lock. Yep. But Shonan staying busy as well up top. But then there is that figure four. What, what should Shonan be doing more of here, boss, again to try? I mean, you say it's almost impossible to escape this unique guard. But what yeah. can he try to do? Um, nothing. Everything that he's doing right now, he's doing good. But uh, Anderson Silva is just really good in deflecting the punches that he throws. He he's just keeps his eyes on his opponent which what a lot of people don't do, and uh, just bob and weaves on the ground. Should Chonan try to stand up from this position? No, because right now, Anderson Silva, if he doesn't keep moving, he's going to receive another yellow card. I think right now Chonan is ahead on points for sure, also in round number two. It's interesting that the Brazilian corner much more vocal than the Japanese corner right now, which would, I think, indicate that they are cognizant of how this fight is going. Well, almost a side joke there, but Chonan pulled it out right away. He should try to pass the guard. Okay. End of round two. And I think it is safe to say around that belonged to the Japanese butchering piranha, Rio Chonan. Well, going into the third round, I think uh, Chonan, it's his fight to lose, boss. And uh, so far, I think he has been able to dictate, really, no matter where they are, standing or on the ground, what do you think Anderson Silva has to do to pull up this fight right now? He should keep it on his feet, use his long arms, make straight punches, forget about the hooks right now, open up with straight punches, and that high kick, he's got a real good high kick, although Chonan blocked every one of them, but still, you know, try, and maybe you will succeed. It's strange, Jonah has his hands so low, but every time he blocks it, just quick reflexes. Yeah. It's kind of a bait, I guess, you know? You put yeah. your hands low, you pretty much know that your opponent's going to kick you in the head, right? Very confident. And Matt, Ooh. he can take a shot. I mean, Silva has got a lot of snap, a lot of power behind those punches. Whoa! That's the kick. kick. That's the kick I was talking about. You have to watch out for it. And he did. <laughs> yeah, he dug it. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this could be dangerous. Yep, in the butt scoop position right now. But see, you're right. See, Silva wants to keep it on the ground. He or on the feet. He knows that this is the final round. He probably knows that he's going to have to either submit him or knock him out to earn right. the victory. Looks like he sets up a flying knee for the left knee. For some reason, I think that. And for some reason, I wouldn't be surprised if Chonan comes with a flying right knee of his own before he <laughs> yeah. delivers the one. Rabbit punch there by Silva. Again, probably due to the height advantage. Not delivered on purpose. Okay, this, again, the third round, you would expect a little more action on the part of Anderson Silva here, boss. Yeah, he needs to uh, turn it up a notch because otherwise he's going to lose this fight. He needs a knockout or a real good finish. And yet he's backing up. Yeah, but it could be a bait, you know. If you get too aggressive and you walk in, you think, oh, he's afraid of me, and then suddenly they come back with a counter strike. Could be a setup. Oh, oh nice low kick delivered by Chonan. Almost looked like he hit the hip bone there. So that, 
That hurts. Trust me. Whoa. Nice left by Chonan. Nice low kick inside oh, again. Oh, and uh, Silva is able to tag him on the jaw. Does so again with that right. Yeah. But Chonan seems to be impervious to those shots to the face tonight. Yep. Look at the scouter speed. Real good. I'm becoming more and more impressed with Rio Chonan as he now goes in close to Ty Clinch, able to push away. And another and right it looks like he's kick. beginning yeah. to decimate that right leg Keep as your... those series of low kicks have taken their toll. Yep, they do. And there we go with another one, but that's in the other leg. You see Anderson Silva switch stance. Oh, yes. now he goes forward Back. again in the southpaw position. So Chonan right away should kick with the right leg inside yep, out. Take away the lead. They oh, fall. look at this! Oh, Whoa, God. this is good! Oh, Unbelievable! Oh. This is beautiful! This is how this one is! Wow! Oh. Are you kidding me? That is beautiful! Fox Root, what did we just see? That is, I mean, you can only see this in demonstrations, you know. This guy just does look it for at real. Him. At it's three minutes and eight seconds of the final round, a masterpiece of an MMA performance tonight from Rio Chonan, a fight that he was well on his way to winning. He puts an exclamation point on it, boss. Let's take a look at that winning leg lock submission victory. Oh my God. キャンプ 180cm、100cm、ルロン、ガードだ。アベコナ、180cm、100kg。イスタラ、キネシコ。